Adequate and properly installed insulation is another key element in the design and performance of roof systems. We insulate for two main reasons, comfort and energy efficiency. The amount of insulation is based on the roof design and climate. As the price of energy continues to rise, and it will, we are likely to see even more emphasis placed on insulation. Insulation only performs its function when it is motionless, dry, and uncompressed, so proper installation is essential. All insulation needs to be installed in a layer of uniform thickness and consistency. The heel height should include adequate space to accommodate both the required thickness of insulation and the air baffle. The most common types of insulation are blown-in silos, spray foam, blown-in fiberglass and fiberglass bats, rigid foam insulation board. The insulation you choose should be based on the design, climate, construction type, and of course, life cycle cost. Blown-in cellulose is a recycled product that can provide excellent insulation value and is treated for fire and insect protection as well. It can be used in flat and sloped ceiling conditions. Spray foam insulation is a two-part expanding foam product that is sprayed on the ceiling or roof substrate. It is an effective insulation product and can also act as an air barrier. Fiberglass comes in two forms, bat and blown in. When properly installed, it provides good insulation value. It can be used in flat and sloped ceiling conditions. Rigid foam insulation board has been used commercially for decades. Today there are products available for residential use in flat and sloped roof applications as well as cathedral ceilings and finished attics. Some of these products are integrated with a roof decking material that also includes a venting system. Regardless of the insulation product you choose, poor performance is nearly always a result of improper installation.